Amber Jack set out to create a gluten-free baked good that consumers would actually want to eat. Jack is a food sciences graduate student in the LSU College of Agriculture. She took on this challenge as part of her master's project, deciding that a fruit muffin would be her best bet. It's also easy to incorporate different fruits and muffins to maybe um, hide the unpleasant flavor or aroma that the gluten-free flour would give the muffin. Gluten-free means the product doesn't contain wheat flour, and it is a big trend in the food industry. In 2015, consumers spent more than $5 billion on gluten-free products. But creating a desirable muffin without gluten is complicated. Gluten-free product is not so simple to make because without the uh, wheat uh, protein, you probably don't get the texture that you want. Jack said she went through about 20 different formulations before she found one that worked. She used this recipe to make muffins with real sugar, with a sugar substitute, and with half sugar, half sugar substitute. I got 128 panelists to come try my product. Um, they tried all three muffins. They had a blind taste, so they weren't sure which muffin was which. Jack said she was overwhelmed by the results, which showed that people liked the muffins, with most preferring the one with half sugar, half sugar substitute. Jack said working in the LSU School of Nutrition and Food Sciences New Sensory Analysis Center, and as a student worker in the LSU Ag Center's food incubator, prepared her for this project and the incubator could offer her resources to help sell her product. I was amazed when I tasted the uh, gluten-free, sugar-free banana muffin. So I was so proud of Amber for, for producing that. There may be a company that wants the recipe for this product and we can actually work with Amber to sell that recipe to them. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.